think that's a good question. I think it falls into two categories. Uh, one category would be uh, infrastructure. Uh, you know, people don't want to ride any type of bikes, uh, whether it's an e-bike or a non-e-bike, if the infrastructure, if they don't feel it's safe. So uh, one good thing that just passed at the federal level was the infrastructure bill, which provides uh, facilities for bicycles. So if that happens, then the next part of it is, then how do you get uh, the, uh, you know, the pedestrian now going to a bike or a biker using those facilities? And the other a policy, for instance, that's uh, proposed and that's in the uh, Build Back Better plan is to uh, give an incentive, get a tax credit, just like you do for an e-car, uh, uh, electric car, you do for an uh, electric bicycle, where they give up to $1,500 towards the purchase of an electric bicycle. So some, a policy like that goes a long ways to get people into e-bikes. Uh, so I think if they can do that, if they can do the infrastructure and they can also do the other added incentive, we're going to have a lot of people out there riding bikes, e-bikes, and not uh, driving cars necessarily.